Hey everybody, this is a quick uh, video review of the uh, DJI uh, Mini 3 Pro Fly More Kit. So the, especially the bag that comes with the with the kit, I just wanted to uh, show people what they're getting with the kit. Because essentially the batteries and uh, the charger are the same price as the whole kit, which includes the bag basically for free. So I bought the kit, um, just wanted to explain that this kit, um, actually I've tried a little while. It is something that I will probably never use um, for certain reasons. Number one is it has no real handles. It's a very slippery material and it actually is has very little padding. So I've actually almost dropped it once because there's nothing to hold on to. And then when you drop it and there's no padding, you're going to end up damaging whatever's in here. So the other thing is that it's actually kind of difficult to use these zippers. It's a very fine zipper. So actually grabbing it to use the zippers is kind of difficult. And when you go into the compartments here, one side is Velcro, so you can fold it to the side for larger things. But the other side is actually fixed. It's stitched in, so you can't even remove this. Um, and when you go to actually put this stuff in here, um, it's not laid out very well. And again, there's almost no cushioning between the compartments. And uh, the stuff doesn't actually fit in here very well. So, like I said, almost no padding, uh, very difficult to use, very slippery. Um, that's in general, it's free and probably not even worth that. So, um, just want to let people know there's actually a better option out there. Uh, like I said, I would probably not use this for anything that I actually want to protect because it's not going to protect it. Um, a better option out there is this one right here, I think. I've had this one for a little while. It is the Low Pro, and it's the Nova 140 AW2. So I bought this one a little while ago for my Canon, uh, sorry, my Nikon um, P950. So this is like one of those point and shoot cameras, but it's like a fairly big one. So this fits in here really nicely. It has uh, removable dividers with the Velcro. So very similar layout, except that this one actually has a lot of padding. Um, I use this one a fair bit. Like I said, with the Nikon P950, it fits in here perfectly with the cables and charger and everything. So it's a really nice fit for that. That's what I actually bought it for. It also fits really nicely uh, Sony A7 series. So this is the A7R2 uh, with the 85mm 1.8. Uh, so this is also a very nice fit in here. Um, you know, let's put that in there. More chargers. Um, you know, even chargers and even like the flash. So this is, um, for instance, a smaller flash. This is the Godox uh, TT350. So a nice small flash. Fits in there really nice. You can put another lens and a charger in there. So a really nice handy bag, even for full frame uh, mirrorless cameras. Um, of course, if you're gonna, you know, mount a big 80 to 200 or something on there, it's obviously not gonna fit in this bag. Um, but smaller lenses will fit. Like this is, for instance, the Tamron. Let's see. See here. The Tamron uh, 17 to 28. Fits in here. Lots of room to spare for other stuff. So some lenses will fit in here really nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these dividers back in here at about uh, one third. Put this one back here in about a one third. There you go, so you go thirds. And then I'm gonna put the charger with the batteries in there. The drone in the middle, the controller in the side. And as you can see, everything fits really nice and snug. Uh, I got room for cables, extra props. In the front, it also includes an, extra, um, an actual weatherproof uh, pouch that you can take out of the bottom and wrap over top so it's completely waterproof. Uh, in here I actually have my backup, I have a 5S, um, just as my backup because I have the remote that doesn't have the screen. I use my regular um, iPhone but this is just like a backup, uh, just in case. Um, and in the top here of course you've got Another pouch here, extra cables, nice uh, zipper, the zipper works really well. 
clicks shut. Um, it has a really nice padded handle on the top. Shoulder strap, so I carry this thing over my shoulder all the time. Uh, with the strap, it also has little side pouches as well. You can put stuff in on each side. And it also has uh, the double uh, belt loop. So this is one of the reasons I bought this is because I like having camera bags that can also go on your belt if you want. So this can slide on your belt, it can go over your shoulder, you can carry it by hand. And it has lots of good padding and it fits, you know, the drone and the kit really nicely. So I would definitely recommend this over the Flymore kit bag. This I would probably never use for anything. So um, anyways, so let's share my thoughts for people considering the Flymore kit. I definitely recommend getting the part separately and avoiding the bag. It doesn't seem to be really good for anything except looking good maybe. Thanks. Bye.